hello and welcome to the show and welcome to the first fail race versus the community on Forza Horizon 3. For this one, kept things relatively simple. We are racing just A-class vehicles. We're going to tackle a variety of different circuits, some points, points, some circuit races, and so on. I have gone for my Lancia Delta. Since it proved so very good in the rally cars test, we're going to see how it fares against, well, some other competition. We have a bubble car. There is a couple of Ute, a Lamborghini LM002, Volvo 50, a decent fair lady, a Skyline, a couple of Skylines, in fact. That's a Dodge Viper and an Alfa Romeo 155. Our cars may change around. People might go for different vehicles as we go through the races. I quite like this shot here, I'll be honest. Does look quite cool in the... Uh, in the Dromo. Wasn't quite expecting that, but there we go. Yeah, we're going to head out and see what races we can do. I think the first one we're going to do is points, points, just so we kind of get a little bit further away uh, from this area. I'll kind of go to wherever this race ends up, we'll probably go do some races around uh, that part. If it's a mixed service event, my Lancia might fare relatively well in tarmac situations. Well, I think there are some very, very powerful vehicles in this race. Certainly the classes in Horizon 3 are a little bit different and kind of getting the most out of, let's say, an A-class vehicle. Not quite sure on as of yet, but there we go. Now, unfortunately, I really wanted to be able to set up a um, kind of blueprint championship to do this in. Unfortunately, I can't. We've got to go through and sort of create individual races um, sure, I don't really care too much. Uh, actually, I probably should have checked uh, the sort of number of laps and so on <laughs> that. Forgot I have to do that before we uh, before we kind of set it up and going. So we'll go and uh, recheck it, race settings. That's what we want to do. Uh, we do want it to be in the morning. Um, not number of laps. Sorry, I want to make sure that it was in the daylight uh, just because it's a bit better in terms of recording and so on. Yeah, that'll do. Right, uh, do you want to say change over over? Okay, let's overwrite them. That's quite good. I'm, I'm kind of glad about that. So if you cock up with one, you can redo it. We're going to get into the Lancia. And hopefully, hopefully it'll be quick. Hopefully I won't completely and utterly embarrass myself. Of course, when it comes to Horizon, anything can happen. Very easy to miss checkpoints when you're all battling together. Not so much through poor checkpoint placement more from getting distracted with racing cars or trying to be a little bit too greedy. I've certainly found myself doing that plenty in the <laughs> single player. You're just being that little bit too greedy, trying to make up time, trying to go for an overtake and yeah, kind of a little bit too fine and end up missing the other checkpoint. So that's order of the day number one with these. So I didn't really look, don't know if this is a predominantly tarmac or predominantly off-road. I'm hoping for predominantly off-road. That works for me quite nicely. I don't know what on earth is going on with that car's wheels. I think a bit of a glitch uh, occurring with the Alpha. Right, let us get ready. I think the assessor changed his mind when he saw, because <laughs> can't say I blame him, particularly the uh, assessor not the most stable of vehicles. I've got a uh, fair bit in the way of work to do as we launch off the line. The Delta will career its way forward with its four-wheel drive. It is nothing compared to the Lamborghini. Thank you for the bump with those uh, with those rhubars from the Ute. I'm going to go up the middle and find myself in a seventh place. The Utes are going to come pouring past. They've got lots, lots more power than I do. This is where the Lancia is going to struggle in terms of straight line speed. Yeah, it is not the fastest. It's not the fastest with long straights. Not the fastest at all with long straights. Come back! I think we might have needed more power. <laughs> we needed more power or a lot more in the way of corners out here. Uh, they're all going on the brakes relatively early, of course. I can be a little bit braver and jump across the uh, grass to try and make up some positions. Well, uh, we're tenth. Um, yeah, we might be a little bit underpowered out here through the water. I actually have thought this would have been better through the water than the likes of the, <laughs> the Fair Lady Z up there. 
because, well, I've got a lot more ground clearance, rally suspension, rally tyres. I should be good, a little bit of lag. I think I've got the right sides to go through there. Unfortunately, of course, have to record this live. No real replay modes to, uh, to speak on. I can't really save replays and replay cameras, etc. And while there looks like there is a great battle going on up at the front, this course is far, far and away from what I really want to uh, be doing when it comes to uh, this Lancia's strong points. That corner's more like it. If we could have more corners like that, I can join in the Ute group that we have uh, going on up here. I think the Viper is running away at the front. Yeah, Viper quite well suited to this sort of a thing. Yeah, that's uh, Nissan is going to come soaring past, although I can <laughs> make up some time. Yeah, can't, doesn't have the grip to uh, carry that speed through the corner. I think I did spy later on in the lap. It does get quite twisty. Oh, we've been uh, fired a little bit into the wall, but that's okay. We kind of got away. Um, are there two Vipers? Maybe it's not a Viper up the front. Maybe I'm... Um, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm forgetting who's in, in what car in this. I do see some corners coming up. This Delta was a really bad idea. Okay, it's not it's not quite the massively massively overpowered monster that I that it initially looked. On the rally course, it might be very very well suited. I'm not sure elsewhere that it is quite. This is just such a fast, such a fast course. Um, I do have a backup. Oh, is it A class though? Uh, I think I have a backup. And it is orange and black, so we might have to swap to that if I, <laughs> if I end up going... Didn't realise we would be quite so overpowered around here. We're just completely and utterly outspeeded in terms of these long, long... I can make up so much time in the corners. It is impressive. I think it's the uh, skylines at the front. I remember now uh, <laughs> battling up there that are, yeah, long, long clear. The Viper is long gone, although I'm going to be flat out through here. Oh, can we get a pass on the Dodge? Probably not. Uh, we're going to... Oh, Christ. The Dodge is very, very slow through here. I'm going to the inside. We're going to make up a position, I think, before the Viper can outrun us. There's a big bump going on up ahead. The Utes were fighting over there, and... Uh, yeah, domination from the uh, the two Nissans GTRs taking one and two. Datsun in third, the Lamborghini up in fourth. The LM002 did very very well around here. My Lancia, not 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 quite so much there. Hmm. Okay, we need a twistier, bouncier off-road course, I think. Fortunately, where we're ending up around here, I should be kind of good for twisty, bouncy off-road courses. Not that I'm, you know, going to deliberately pick tracks that favour my car at all. That would be, that would be terribly cheating and everything. Uh, what have we got uh, around here? Well, that is kind of the closest thing, so bugger it. We may as well, we may as well go there. And that does look like it's going to take us into the sort of town area. Right, enter event. I have learned an important lesson in all of this that, uh, yeah, I need to build a little bit better kind of overall balanced car. Uh, shall we go... I don't know what we'll do. We're at late afternoon. We'll go for some heavy rain, because why not? We shall confirm that, create the blueprint, we'll run that, and we will leave the Delta there. Ooh, we could go for the Celica. I do like the uh, the Celica. Um, that's what I was thinking of. The Ford Falcon. Yeah. This is going to have more speed. This is going <laughs> to... Might might give me a chance. If we do uh, head to some uh, twistier, some off-road tracks, I'm hoping we will in this, that uh, Lancia may come out again. That is woefully slow, and it's just not going to be involved in any of the interesting action. So we're going to go for the Ford. Uh, one of the few cars, actually, that I've bothered building up to a kind of a specific class. I've tended just to grab vehicles, drive them stock, and, you know, let the game sort out the opponents to a similar class as me. It's probably not the best way of doing things, kind of the quickest way to get through championships. I'll just be enjoying driving all sorts of different random cars in the events. So, yeah, we're going to hopefully not get quite as mullered this time out. I'm hoping the Falcon will hold its own a little bit better. Oh, we're at the back of the grid. Fantastic. We've got... Uh, well, I guess we can, we can only go forward in this event. That's a nice positive to be having. 
I spy a Vantage. Had I, had I thought I needed something rather than the Delta, Vantage would probably be right at the very top of my list of things to build. Of course, in the rain, now we're going to have all manner of sidewaysness from these rear-wheel drive cars. I'm going to fit through that gap. Thank you very much. Where's the Vantage? Okay, the Vantage has just fitted in behind. A little bit difficult to see in the really heavy rain, especially in the rainforest. Ah, uh, well, I've tried <laughs> I managed to avoid the Alfa Romeo. I think the Aston Martin didn't quite get stopped in time, and, well, that's not particularly worked well either. Uh, we're ca <laughs> catching very, very quickly on the Alfa. We're going to have to go around the outside. Yeah, with the with the jungle around here, it is very, very difficult to see in this incredibly, incredibly heavy rain. It is quite effective weather effects that uh, they have going on oh, here, although it doesn't seem to affect the cars. Like, we saw it affect the, the rollover vehicles a little bit, or in fact, quite a bit, with the with the Holden the classic Ute. I can't remember quite the, the full name of it. Uh, as far as actual vehicle handling goes, it doesn't feel that different to driving uh, in the drive. It doesn't feel like horrendously slippery, not like it does in, in Forza 6. And so, yeah, I don't quite... I'm sorry, guys. I was trying to get out of the bloody fence. If you catch one of those fences at a bad angle, you really lose an absolute heap of time. That stuff's nasty. Bouncing our way across some grass. There's the skyline. Uh, either missed a checkpoint or ended up in a building at some point. This course is bloody dangerous. Also, a little bit of lag up there is not helping matters. Uh, we're, we're, <laughs> we're kind of finding our way through all of this. Datsun sliding about in front of me. That is not quite what we want. Uh, there was a briefest of gaps there. I think I've got an Aston Martin right behind me. Scary sights to have in your rearview mirror. Don't quite know how much speed we can take through there. Everyone's slowing down. Someone not behind. Although that could have been lashed to see the car blink out of existence in the uh, rearview mirror. That might, <laughs> might have been a little bit of lag involved. I think the Lamborghini <laughs> is at the front and is, has taken victory. A bit more competitive from the Falcon there. My TV is very quiet, so I'm going to turn it up so I can actually hear the bloody cars. Lamborghini claims a quite surprise victory in that one. GTRs again faring well in a second. Fairly DZ, Viper, my Falcon. Yeah, much much more competitive. Although to be fair, the uh, Delta might have liked the rain that uh, that little bit more there. Hmm. Okay. I'm surprised by the performance of the uh, the Lamborghini. I believe that one does have about 1,000, 100, 1,200 horsepower going on in it. So that <laughs> might explain some of the acceleration. I'm surprised by the control that it's getting. Although, again, four-wheel drive in the rain is probably helping it some. Wheel spin time! Come on, give us a nice, interesting prize while I'm filming. Look, that would have... Ah! Oh. It would have been lovely if you'd been the one below. I mean, 200,000 is still pretty damn nice. I will, I will give you that. But I would have quite liked the uh, Horizon Edition Ford. Okay, let us go and have a look. What have we got around this area? Not quite as much as I was uh, as I was really hoping, unfortunately. Um, okay, we might have to go on a little bit of drive to set up the next race. For the next event, I've gone back to the Lancia, seeing as it's a little bit of a shorter circuit, it's a scramble track as well, meaning there will be a nice little uh, dirt section on this for the Lancia. I'm also starting from second on the grid, which is uh, quite useful. Slightly scared <laughs> of the Lamborghini. I mean, that is the most off-road uh, suited vehicle here. So that's got also tremendous levels of straight line speed. So that could... Uh, yeah, could do well as we uh, start on this dirt. I don't think I've driven this circuit, actually. Come to think of it, I, yeah, I don't think I have used this circuit at all in Horizon 3. Now there's some dirt. Look at the Lancia. Okay, not quite go. The, uh, the Nissan is a little bit, too, uh, little bit too fast in a straight line for me. I have only got uh, 290 horsepower in this, which is not very much compared to, well, some of the vehicles. This is much more like a uh, circuit for the Delta, though. Actually, I really like this track. I'm slightly disappointed that I haven't seen this one uh, up until now. This is quite a technical circuit for Horizon 3. Yeah, it is uh, quite an 
impressive, impressively technical track. They do like their, their fast circuits here. Anyway, we are up into the lead, although completely and utterly messed up that first corner. Can definitely get away with a lot more speed through there, although we do carry good speed through the next turn, and that puts a little bit of distance between us and the GTR. The blimmin... <laughs> I seem to remember having this problem in uh, previous Horizons games. The score, well, the position list going on at the side, when it's dropped down, completely blocks your rear view mirror, which, when you're driving in cockpit view, is kind of important to, well, you know, see where vehicles are behind you. Uh, that does make things a little bit on the, <laughs> on the difficult side. Yeah, around here, Lance, you're much happier. Much happier again. We have got the Skylines doing well. What else is that? Ah! <laughs> we've got the golf cart. The golf cart is, uh, yeah, I guess it probably suits that vehicle as well. You know, a little bit of dirt. It's not so much the the dirt as the time's being made up. It's a very small section of dirt here. But it's the acceleration that the other golf buggy will have that is probably helping it around this track. There's no big long straight for a car like this to get into trouble with, although I've gone run very, very wide through there and managed to clobber the wall. Fortunately, far enough ahead. The golf buggy's up into second place, though. A little bit of a way to go to catch the Lancia, but uh, it is, uh, it's it's heading this way. They've got a humongous... There could well have been an accident. Um, I'm also wondering, uh, this uh, this kind of event is making me ponder more and more about the uh, the classes of cars on Horizon 3. In that, uh, yeah, perhaps the vehicles that were doing well on the the longer, faster, straighter circuits are now having a lot more issues uh, lacking the handling to tackle a track like this. So, yeah, that is a, a distinct possibility. The Lamborghini's up into fourth place. Uh, and it's out of fourth place again. I think they're, they're, there's a big fight. I've managed to find myself. I mean, last race I was not too bad. Last race I found a relatively good battle for most of it. We're, we're now... It's just the Lancia, that's what it is. Lancia's either miles out front or really, really struggling, depending on what the circuit. I mean, this is an absolutely lovely car to drive. I would highly, highly recommend it as an A-Class vehicle, but probably for only certain circumstances. A track like this, or a predominantly off-road, I, I wonder, it might actually struggle on the faster off-road circuit. It might have only been so quick because it was on such a narrow, narrow track. Um, yeah, for, for, for these sort of places, the Lancia is incredible, an absolute joy to drive, but anything that involves a long straight, it's in lots and lots of trouble. So, yeah. Uh, well, you've got to think more about building of cars, basically, and I I didn't. Thankfully, I had a Ford as a, as a backup car for this. We are on the final lap now. I think the golf buggy might be catching ever so slightly, but it is not going to have enough time. There's a lot of tyre smoke going off the, uh, the golf buggy here. It's an interesting top three. Oh, here, yeah, the golf buggy was catching, but uh, not catching fast enough. Delta followed by golf buggy followed by GTR that's been on the podium in all three races so far. Lamborghini LM002 is up in fourth place. Fastest laps relatively close between me and the golf buggy, slightly in favour of the other uh, golf buggy there. Um, then ah, the Lamborghini much faster final lap, it's a bit more, bit more like it. A little bit of a gap, it took a couple of seconds gap to some of the other vehicles in this one. Just not quite so suited to a track as technical as this one. Well, we've really gone from one extreme to another with, with these races. Hmm, okay. We shall see what I can come up with for this uh, fourth race. I think we might mm, possibly go for a cross-country race. We've kind of gone for a couple of fast tarmac stages. We've now had a really technical, really technical uh, I say street circuit, there was a dirt section, but it was a very, very small dirt section. Uh, oh, are we going to level up? Yes, we are. Fantastic. Another chance at a wheel spin. Oh, we're nearly into the uh, pink levels. <gasps> Come on, 4GT Horizon Edition would be awesome game. If you could manage to give me that while I'm filming, I'd be really happy. Yes, I'm really happy! We have got the 4GT Horizon Edition. It's got the credit boost on it as well. Thank you, game. I take back everything I have said about you. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, I 
I'm really glad I got that one. There are I mean, there might be Horizon editions for most cars in here. I'll be honest, but uh, that was one that has always looked absolutely fantastic. I'm very very happy. Um, right, I said I wanted the cross country. There's a cross country circuit over this way. We shall go and compete in that. I think I'm sticking. I think I'm going to stick with the the Lancia for this. The Lamborghini, that LM002, will be very well suited, I would imagine, to this. It's got the power. It's got the off-roading ability to tackle a event like this. God damn those fences! Whoa! It's a Volvo to the side. Not really what you want. And parked. Uh, the golf buggy might actually be pretty good here as well, to be honest. Uh, right, anything goes, A-class, and let's just go and sort out these. We'll go for four laps. Uh, we will go, shall we go for sunset? Normally the falls are default for uh, lighting conditions. Uh, sure, we'll go cloudy, and voila. Right, create blueprint, and we are going to be sticking with the delta for this. Right, Deep Water Cross is the track we're going to be tackling here. Interesting array of cars going on by the looks of it. Nice to see a uh, Falcon in there. My Delta, I think, is quite well suited to this. The Lamborghini, of course, the Z Golf Bucket. There's another Delta as well joining in here. Uh, oh, this is an interesting start grid we have, uh, we have got going on. Well, bye-bye muscle cars. I will use that... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> really bye-bye muscle cars in all of that. They are not going to like this. I mean, I don't think my Lancia likes it quite as much as the Lamborghini. <laughs> the Lamborghini is just surrounded by slow little cars and <laughs> can't get through the water anywhere near as well as the golf buggy. Oh, we got a big twitch on the uh, the bumps. That's not so good. That's not so good at all. I think I see a scary sight. Oh, some big old lag going on. Oh, Lancia in a building. Never what you want to uh, have. The Volvo is doing quite well. I believe the Volvo is front wheel drive. We saw it plummet down off the start line in one of the events. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, that's doing pretty well to be up here fighting with us. The Lamborghini must have got it involved in some shenanigans. Volvo's got far too much speed for me to deal with ooh, in terms of straight line, but I can take that speed through the corner where the Volvo just can't. Fair Lady got into trouble. We've got a ghosting car going on. Um, yeah, well, Forza servers are still Forza servers. Um, and to be fair, they've actually held up pretty damn well for a, a massive game launch such as this one. Have not had too much in the way of problems. The golf buggy has just buggered off in this race. That Polaris is so very, very fast in uh, in this class, or for this kind of event in this class. Um, as expected, it is yeah a little bit happier tackling some of these bumps than my Lancia, although the Lancia probably doing a lot better than some of the streetcars we have racing around. Now, it'll be smoother on the way up there. That's much better from the Delta. Uh, the Lamborghini, I'm trying to spot a Lamborghini. He's not that far behind me, and that's probably the biggest threat we have on the other Lancia as well, of course. Don't know how much power, don't know what tyres it's going to be running on. I would imagine rally, but uh, not sure. Well, I can't do anything about that Lamborghini. Lamborghini is going to come flying past any second now. I'm trying to give it space on the outside. I'm not quite sure where it's gone. Lancia has cut back to the inside. I'm going to cut back to the inside. That was like a double, triple cutback from everybody involved. I'm going to get landed on. That's not the site that you want to see behind you. Uh, <laughs> oh, Lamborghini's scary. That thing is... Ridiculous. Oh, Lancia is stuck up the inside of both of us. Uh, Lamborghini's going to have to accelerate both of us as well. Although I'm going to try. Oh, out. <laughs> I was going to try. I was going to try and cut back. I didn't quite time it right. Lamborghini has uh, muscled its way past. Uh, people are doing their best with uh, Horizon. A lot of a lot of people are still rather new to the uh, to the game. Probably never driven this track before with these cars, so we'll let off the odd little bump here and there. Uh, I've got some work to do if I want to get a podium with this Delta. I think it may be a little bit out of my reach. Bloody hell! I was not expecting to go that far up on to uh, up on the two wheels as we bounce our way across someone's back garden. Okay, we're good. We're good. I thought we were going to get launched onto our side. Right, we are well clear. There's a very, very evident split here between the uh, the off-road vehicles, the four of us at the front, and the rest of the field a long way back. 
That's, uh, yeah, very, very evident. I think the golf buggy, with all of its speed, is throwing it away, having made a mistake. That promotes me back to a podium spot, although quite how long I can hold on to that, I am not sure. The other Delta is... Uh, I was briefly there, I made a mistake running wide, and has now dropped me back from what is now the lead of battle. I think the golf buggy is so quick through this water, it's, uh, it got away very, very well on that opening lap. Look at it go. It's just soars through that water. That is some, some helpful advantage to have uh, when you can make up that much time through the water splash. Oh, the, that's being, Polaris being bumped around now. I shouldn't be running across that at a curb area. It's causing me all sorts of issues. I'm going to be able to find a way to fight back on this final lap. I would like a podium. That would be nice. Oh god, no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna get a podium doing that though. We got bounced around a little bit. Could do with more power, I think, in the uh, in the Lancia. I'll be honest here, uh, unless there is a mistake from one of the leaders. I mean, we thought the golf buggy had the victory sort of sealed. I guess could have had an issue on the landing as well. Actually, these are pretty harsh landings, and if things go wrong, I imagine quite easy to spin a vehicle on. You're gonna chuck it through <laughs> through the hedge in someone's front garden. But uh, we're not going to be able to do anything about a podium fourth place we'll have to do for my Delta there. Uh, yeah, you can really, you can really see the, uh, the difference in times between the off-road cars and the rest of the field. Datsun being the best of the rest charger in that uh, sixth place behind it, Alfa Romeo 155. If it's still all-wheel drive, probably helping it a little bit in all of Viper managers to beat the Volvo. Yeah, I don't think I actually had a nice clean lap in all of that. I got bounced around a bit uh, a bit too much. Uh, caught in trouble with the Delta. Definitely could have done a little bit better. Hung with the lead group briefly until running wide. Ah, okay. That was a, a fairly brutal circuit. That, that's more of the place I'd expect the Lamborghini to, to, to do well, to be honest. Was, wasn't expecting it to do well at the um, sort of long, fast tarmac sections, but there we go. Right. We shall head off for one final race, because uh, I want to level up. Right, to finish up with, I've gone for a sprint race that kind of runs around Byron Bay. have gone for a little bit more rain. Also, going to use the Lancia. So, <laughs> someone's gone for a Warthog. Not sure the Warthog's going to fare too well around here. Anyway, yes, I've gone for the, for the Delta. I don't know whether it's a good idea or not. We will very quickly find out if it's uh, going to be fast enough out of the slow quarters early on to make up for its deficiencies in the straight. Oh, that's a lot of cars fitting into a small piece of tarmac. Don't know where the Warthog's gone. Viper's in the wall. We're going to get nudged into the back of the uh, Datsun. Didn't know what gear I wanted to be in, and that was the wrong one because we didn't really get going very well. And all of the places are evaporating away. Not the best of starts, although we're going to make up a lot of them. <laughs> going to make a lot, a, a, a lot of them quickly. I, my brain is not working fast enough for this. Oh, didn't realise we had a uh, dirt section. Please tell me I got that checkpoint. Oh, that would have been close to uh, having missed that one there. Well, this is more good news for me. Um, and I think this is one of the perhaps longer straight sections on the track, so it's helped me out that it's a dirt one for the Lancia, although I think it does open up a little bit more towards the end of the race. This I had a very quick look at it on the on the map. It's basically an event that started close to where the last one finished. Yeah, now we're going to start getting murdered. The GTRs are coming back into their own, of course, in these damp conditions, likely all-wheel drive. Thank you for uh, for that one. <laughs> I uh, was not quite sure how much speed I could get away with taking through that corner, so it was perhaps a little earlier on the brakes. But 53% of the way through the race. Uh, a little bit higher speed corners, though we still haven't had massively long straights as of yet, so I've not, uh, not lost too much time. There's a very sideways focus in the background. Uh, we are catching on the leader, although equally, third place is not that far behind. The skyline's so much quicker down these straights that uh, I might struggle to do very much, because it does look like a fairly sizable drag race towards the finish line that uh, I am going to be murdered on. Oh no, that's too much speed into there. Just trying to be brave. Yeah, would have been better off not. 
<laughs> would have been much better off being careful and uh, yeah, try to be try to be tidier rather than go for the maximum maximum bravery. Oh, we're going to get murdered. Uh, I think, thankfully for me, in terms of uh, a podium spot, the focus is too far back. The skyline is coming and is going to outdrag me. I can't stop that. <laughs> can't do anything about the skyline. I will take third place, though. And uh, there'll be an alpha in fourth. I guess the focus might have uh, made a mistake, might have got caught on a wall or missed a checkpoint even. Very, very easy to do. And dropped out of contention. Eh, I'll take a podium, another podium, with the Delta. Yeah, learn, learn quite a lot, actually, from this regarding building cars for A-Class. Yeah, certainly some cars are very, very strong on one event, but will struggle more in others, where I feared that perhaps the class system was a little bit uh, skew-whiff in places. I wonder if it is just cars being a lot more heavily specialised to a certain sort of event. That'll probably take some more looking into. I've got to a level 130. We're going to see if we can win a Impreza 22B. That'd be nice. I doubt I'm going to get that lucky twice in a row. Nope, that's more like it. But I'll take a 4,000 credit wheel spin, having got the Horizon Edition Ford GT. And that is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, uh, goodbye.